On the matter of DRC, President Lorenzo has demonstrated great statesmanship in his stewardship of both the ICGLR process as mandated by AU and the mediation efforts between DRC and Rwanda. And that is in harmony and in synchrony with the Nairobi process. The, Nai the Nairobi process is engaged in bringing together the armed groups and engaging them in dialogue so that they can participate in the process that will eventually, starting with cessation of hostilities, going into the next space of containment, then demobilization and disarmament, and then reintegration further down the road. That whole process has to be a process that involves ESC, the DRC administration, and all the armed groups, including the M23. And in that process, we are all aligned. In fact, when the cantonment finally happens, Angola will be providing troops that will, cut, that will guard the cantonment sites. So what we are doing as East African force and what Angola and uh, 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 SADC and the other partners are doing under the ICGLR process is in synchrony and is in harmony and it is complementary to what we are all doing about stabilizing Eastern DRC as a sister country in our region that has yearned for many years for stability and uh, dealing with a conflict situation so that they can engage in development and in progress and enjoy prosperity like the rest of the citizens of our uh, region. I have briefed Mr. President on what Kenya is doing alongside our East African community partners in stabilizing DR, Eastern DRC. I have also congratulated President Lorenzo for his not just participation but leadership in especially the mediation efforts between DRC and Rwanda and the leadership under ICGLR on managing the affairs with us in Eastern DRC. We concur that the situation in DRC needs to be brought under control. We share common positions on encouraging the government in DRC to work with its people in finding the mechanism that will enable the people of DRC, especially in the eastern side of DRC, to engage in dialogue, in consultation, and we are prepared under the Nairobi process to work out a mechanism for dialogue and consultation to facilitate M23's cantonment after an agreement on what happens after the, uh, the cantonment exercise and we believe that it is an achievable aim to uh, engage in consultation, stabilize eastern part of DRC, and allow the people of DRC in general to benefit from their progress, from their development, and from stability and progress in their region. We reaffirm our commitment, Mr. President, to continue developing bilateral bi uh, cooperation in trade, in investment, in agriculture, in forestry, capacity development in public service, in transport and communication, and in all the other sectors that has seen us today cement the relations between our countries and provide a wider and broader framework for the engagement between our two countries to go forward 
We've just witnessed the signing of 11 bilateral legal instruments that will now underpin and provide a framework and a firm foundation for the growth of our bilateral relations, for the growth of our business relations, investment, and trade relations. Mr. President, all the MOUs that we have signed today on telecommunication and ICT, on oil and gas, mining and geology, health collaboration, capacity building in public service and cooperation in our respective diplomatic academies, these frameworks will unlock the potential of our commerce, our trade, our government-to-government -government and people-to-people -people relations. President Lorenzo and I agree on the need to ensure improved people-to-people -people interaction. And the democratic credentials of Angola reflect the deep relations between our two countries and our common belief in the power of the people to run the affairs of their governments by electing leaders of their choice. We are very proud, Mr. President, of your re-election last year by an overwhelming endorsement by the people of Angola in a democratic, free and fair election. And you can count on Kenya as a partner in establishing our continent as a continent with democratic credentials, believe in the rule of law, and giving a chance to our people to decide their destiny, their progress, their development, and their government. Business integration will still proceed, even as we look for ways of harmonizing, as uh, you very well know, for East Africans. We are working on how to consolidate Kiswahili to be spoken by about 12 or so countries. But we will continue to look at avenues of uh, improving on language and seeing how communication can go ahead. But uh, I don't think it can be an impediment on relations between countries or relations between business people because money has no language. Business has no language. The language of business is the same in all dialects and in all languages. Um, on the issue of uh, the bread basket, it is true that there is an opportunity for us to engage since our continent is home to close to two-thirds of the world's uncultivated arable land. Unfortunately for us in Kenya, we do not have that much land that is arable and uh, that uh, has the kind of endowments like you have in Angola. And there is an opportunity. And in fact, there is a request for Kenyan farmers to work with their Angolan counterparts, especially in the areas of growing food, because you have so much land in Angola uh, that we can use to grow food, both for the people of Angola and the people of Kenya and the people of our continent. Uh, for us in Kenya, only 14% of our land is, uh, has enough water uh, Kenya is almost 80% arid and semi-arid, but we are also working on ensuring that we deploy irrigation to expand land under food production in our country as we work with other interventions to support farmers. But I agree with you, there is opportunity for collaboration. And I think the President's visit today opens 
a whole window for us to engage our farmers in that exercise. On the unpacking of uh, the MOUs, uh, as has been said, as has been requested by somebody there, I think that can be done elaborately. Once we live here, we will make the MOUs available so that you can find the nuances of what we have agreed on.